What's up everyone? So today is gonna be another cooking video with uh, me and Carol. Just heading into town once again to get some supplies and food because yeah, we just don't have any food at all right now. And uh, I think I'm gonna be getting a lot of food so that we can cook loads of different stuff over the next coming days. And today I'm with Carol. <laughs> She's coming with me just to go to the pharmacy for for your stuff, right? Yeah. But you're also going to get some food. And then I'm going to head to the market alone though. But yeah, at least she's going to be able to get some stuff in the supermarket so I don't have to carry it all back. And as usual, we've come along the, the beachfront. It's actually the first time I think Carol's walking along the beach, right? Yeah. <laughs> Since... It's so beautiful and empty. Yeah, it's amazing. Some of you guys told me this is your favorite part of the video, always seeing this amazing view here, so yeah, as always, I'll get some beach shots at the beach dog. <laughs> now and we just go into the supermarket that we would go to when we were staying around here this one right here loads of uh, canned food what's that green peas green peas and there we got Nutella and some baby corn Also need some soy sauce again. So Carol's gonna be leaving me now. I think yeah. your backpack's full, right? Yeah, I already bought everything that I needed, my female products and stuff, and now I'm going back and you're going to the market, right? Yeah, so I'll see you in less than two hours, hopefully. Yeah. All right, bye. So today I'm getting this fish here, mangoes. I got those two over there, pretty big fish. The market is very empty, just like last time. Never anybody here. So I'm in the fruit and vegetable section once again. Also not never busy when I come here. And I got a huge list here, loads of stuff to try and find. So we'll see if I can find it all. We have a uh, eggplant here. And then down here, uh, sweet potato. Probably got some of those. Tomatoes as well, I'll get those today. And yeah, green chili peppers red ones as well. big backpack this time I think all the fruits and vegetables weigh about like 20 kilos so this is a pretty extreme workout we're walking 30 40 minutes once again with this I can't feel my shoulders though <laughs> check how nice El Nido beach is looking today 
so calm and peaceful. Beautiful. I've got all the stuff that I bought um, spread out here. Loads of stuff, probably the most that I bought ever going to the market. Lots of different stuff as well. And it was 1,068 pesos overall. So as usual, I got the sayotes, garlic, onion, carrot. I got potatoes, and this time I got sweet potatoes. I didn't know they had that here, so yeah, I got four sweet potatoes. Loads of bananas as usual. I got uh, bay leaves, two of those. Eggplant, which I've never got before. Uh, green onion here, quite a few of those. Some big okras, that looks pretty good. Loads of calamansis, I think I got um, over 20. And then I got a kilo of sticky rice, which I can use for desserts. And a kilo of normal rice. And then in here I have what's called uh, lumpia, which is kind of like their um, the Filipino wraps for spring rolls, stuff like that. Over here we got this funny vegetable called ampalaya. It's kind of like a wrinkly one, interesting. So I only just realized I was supposed to get ampalaya leaves, not the actual vegetable. But yeah, I got it wrong and now I guess we're going to have to work out what we can cook with this. I'm not sure, but we'll work it out. These really long, um, I guess, green beans. Got loads of those. Got fish sauce here. And then over here I got Kang Kong leaves. And then some red uh, chili peppers, green ones as well. This is what Carol took back. So cornstarch, green peas, coconut milk, young corn, soy sauce, vinegar, and extra virgin olive oil. And then we have the two big fish. Look at the size of that. That's huge. For both of those it was 425 and that's called bangus which is known as milk fish so yeah we're going to be cooking a lot with that fish over the next few days. So we got all these vegetables because we had searched for about four or five different dishes here in the Philippines that we want to cook and yeah this is pretty much all the ingredients to cook all those different for uh, four or five dishes. Some things are missing, but yeah, I think we can pretty much cook it all. So looking forward to cooking all these dishes over the next few days. And now we've got to start with the dish that we're going to cook today. So we're going to be doing fish adobo. So chicken adobo is really famous in the Philippines. It's one of the main Filip Filipino dishes, but we don't eat chicken. So I checked and you can just replace the chicken with the fish. So yeah, that's why we got those two fishes down there. And that's what we're going to cook right now. So we also decided to try something a bit different. Uh, we decided to make the rice like a Brazilian style rice because of course uh, we love Brazilian rice and we think it's going to be a good mix. So yeah, let's see how it, how it goes. <laughs> yeah, we're making a Brazilian Filipino fish adobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to start cutting this guy here. So I think I'm going to cut it in slices all the way through like that, loads of different pieces, probably four or five pieces. And also you guys told me to tell the person at the market to clean up the fish for me because you remember last time I had to do it, I didn't know that they could do it for me. So yeah, she removed all the scales and she also removed the guts and all that very quickly. A lot better than me at doing it, so yeah, thanks for that tip. This, this knife sucks. <laughs> to break through that spine. Yeah. So we probably cooked them like that, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six pieces. So the ingredients for this dish uh, are not that much at all. All it is is the rice, onion, red chili pepper, garlic, bay leaves, black pepper, and uh, soy sauce and vinegar. That's all we need. So for the rice, we're gonna make one cup. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash it first and then let it dry outside in the sun and then and then we'll go, we're gonna cook it. Okay. So I'm just 
gonna put the rice out now in the in the sun here to dry. Should dry pretty quick. Super sunny out here. In case some of you didn't watch our previous video, uh, Brazilian rice is basically fry the garlic and onion in the pan just for a few minutes until it gets a bit of a, a brown color and then later on you throw the rice. So that's how you do Brazilian rice. And some of you Filipinos said you actually tried it at home and liked it so yeah that was cool that you enjoyed the Brazilian style rice. It's very easy to make so yeah if any, any of you are curious. Uh, yeah, you might as well try it next time you're gonna cook rice, just put some onions as well and see if you enjoy it. Put a little bit of salt as well. Yeah. All right. Or a lot. <laughs> So now we're gonna wait until the water evaporates in a low fire fire. Yeah, low fire, low heat. Low heat. <laughs> so I think the rice is ready now, right? Yes. Yeah, so I usually use the the fork to do this and see if there's still water there on the bottom, but you want all the water to be gone? Yeah, all the water to be gone and now it's ready. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now we remove the rice, clean the pan, and it's fish adobo time. So the recipe that we're reading said that it's optional to use a, a red chili pepper, and we don't even really like spicy food, right? No, um, it's funny because people think Brazilians love spicy food, but uh, I don't think it's that common to for us Brazilians to eat a lot of spicy food. Yeah, we're Just not. A little bit. We're not Mexicans. Yeah, no, not Mexicans. <laughs> But I think we're still gonna use probably half just to, I guess, add some extra flavor to the oh, yeah. adobo sauce. Half should be okay. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully not too spicy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with the sauce now. We're gonna be using quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of um, vinegar, vinegar, <laughs> yeah. and uh, some bay leaves. Yeah, I think uh, five or six five pieces. Six, yeah. Smells really good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. to mention is black pepper we're supposed to have the whole peppercorn and uh, we didn't get that but we have the ground pepper here so yeah I guess this is better than nothing but the correct recipe should be the whole thing so we're just gonna add a tablespoon of the black pepper and then we'll add the, the fish okay so we haven't really turned the oven on yet, but I'm gonna put the fish in here. We have to bring it to a boil on medium heat, and then I think we put it on low heat and leave it for 30 minutes. But after 15 minutes, we flip the fish on the other side and then leave it for the remaining 15 minutes. And they also say we need to put sugar. Are you gonna put sugar? Yeah, I think we can put a spoon. Um, I think it's supposed to be sweet, the a sauce. Bit sweet, yeah. I don't know how much sugar you put in, so you Filipinos let me know um, how much sugar you would put in. We're just gonna yeah. put one, I think. I don't know, we can taste it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, we'll adjust it, but for right now, just one spoon. And that's okay? Mm-hmm. 
Hopefully this is correct. <laughs> As you can see it is already boiling now, it was very quick so I'm just gonna lower the flame to low. There we go, probably around there. And then now, yeah, we just wait, after 15 minutes I'll flip it, and then, yeah, it'll be 30 minutes overall, like I mentioned. It smells amazing so far though, the sauce. minutes has come to an end now yeah everything's that brown color now absorbed the the sauce but from what I've seen in pictures that's how it's supposed to look so yeah let's see how this thing tastes <laughs> so now the most important uh, part is to put the, the sauce it looks very delicious, so I'm going to get some and put on top of the rice. Is that normal that people put it on the rice? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's the most important part, but we have no clue. Yeah. But yeah, from the pictures, there's loads of juice in the plate, right? Mm -hmm. Loads of like the stew, so I think we're supposed to put a lot of it, a lot of the yeah sauce or stew, whatever you want to call it, in the plate. So today I'm going to be the one doing the taste test first, so I think I'm going to get the rice first and then go with the fish later. So I think I've actually got some chili there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this tastes. Spicy? No, not really, but wow, that, that really is delicious. I think the fact that um, Brazilian rice already has a lot of flavor because mm -hmm. we have the garlic and the onion. But then you have all the ingredients of the adobo sauce and yeah, that chili. It's just a lot of flavor, like really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. Way tastier than now that's expecting even. Now let's try the the fish. So got a big nice piece there. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it, yeah. So I didn't mention before, but me and Carol have never had adobo before. So we've never had chicken adobo or even fish adobo. So we had no idea what the, the sauce would taste like, but yeah, it is absolutely delicious. And I forgot to mention, we added two extra tablespoons of sugar, but it's still not that sweet. It's because when we tried the sauce in the pan, it did taste a bit salty, I think, because of all the soy sauce. So, um, yeah, I think adding extra sugar kind of evened it out a bit. But yeah, this is this is amazing. A lot better than the the pancit bihon that yeah. we cooked. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll definitely be cooking this again. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> and check this out for the the Filipino bottle opener. The <laughs> yeah. machete. I got a cerveza negra, the San Miguel. Your my, favorite. Yeah. yeah, my favorite beer in the Philippines so far. <laughs> That's fun. Perfect beer, perfect meal. Yay. So we read online that uh, the word adobo means marinade in English. It comes from the Spanish uh, adobar, adobar. I don't know, I'm not good in Spanish. Yeah, Spanish word. Yeah, adobar. And in Portuguese it means marina. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to try it and I'm excited because Chris is in love with <laughs> the food. <laughs> I love the adobo now. That one's got a big bay leaf on it, right? Yeah. Bit of fish, bit of rice and the sauce. 
Mm. It's very tasty. Straight mm. away, it's like an explosion yeah. of flavor, right? Yeah, it's just super strong flavor. So very good. And uh, and I agree with you that this one is better than the fancy, which was also good. But I think I prefer this this dish. Yeah, it's just I think just more flavor all, overall. That explosion the moment you put it in your mouth. I mean, it even looks great. Just look how juicy everything looks because we put the sauce all over everything. Amazing dish. Carol also went for a different alcoholic beverage. What's that? Yeah, it's just red wine with uh, apples. Yeah, she cut some apples. Yeah. Kind of healthy, I guess. Mm. Hey, I think one wine is supposed to be healthy. Mm. Yeah, maybe one beer too. <laughs> so some of you have been commenting about the alcohol because currently there is a liquor ban. So when we heard about that there was going to be the liquor ban, we just basically bought loads of uh, yeah alcohol. So that's why we have it. There is a liquor ban here right now, but I got about 16 or 17 bottles of beer. And I don't drink that often, usually one every few days uh, with a meal or something. I don't really drink to uh, get drunk or anything, just casually. And Carol as well, so she got two bottles of wine. And that should last us for like three, four weeks, I think. Yeah, so that's why we have the alcohol. We're struggling to finish this at the moment. I think Carol's been defeated. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much fish. Yeah, the, all this fish you're seeing here was from the entire fish, so... We're eating that whole big fish right now. And it is a lot of food. Maybe we should finish the rest later on. Yeah, reheat. Dinner. Yeah, reheat it. Let's do that. Got an ant colony going on over here. the end of another cooking video as I mentioned before there's going to be many more we definitely have enough ingredients to cook many more Filipino dishes so yeah we're planning on doing that over the the next few days and so far no real disasters and it all seems to be turning out pretty good uh, a lot of you guys said that the pancit bihon in the last video that we did a like pretty good job give us a rating out of 10 once again I certainly think it tasted a lot better than the pancit bihon. The appearance is how it should look as well, so yeah, I think we got this one spot on as well, but um, hopefully we continue to, to still be lucky with all the other dishes that we're going to be trying in the next few videos. So subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this in the Philippines at the moment. Drop a like on this video to help support us. Follow us on Instagram also to see what we're doing in real time, and we'll see you around.